Hi everyone, it's Anna here. Uh, in this video, I am going to use this watercolor set. It's from uh, Graham, Graham Smith, right? <laughs> and uh, it's like uh, these beautiful colors. Um, I bought this on Jackson's Heart Supply Store. I, I buy a lot of material there. Um, and they are M. Graham. What did I say? They are M. Graham uh, watercolors, and they have these beautiful colors in it. Um, it's just a pack of five, it was on sale, and I really wanted to try them. They are just gorgeous, and I'm going to add them to my palette. <laughs> this, this palette I have with nicer watercolors. I have White Knight, Holbein, Daniel Smith. Uh, I don't remember what was the other two that were there, but I have a little space, so I used it to fill with these beautiful colors. It's like this blue, it's a, a purple, a, a green, a, like a yellow ochre, and um, a gray. This, this, this gray that's fantastic. Um, and I love those muted colors and I am making a wolf, a little wolf. In the end, this kind of... Uh, I, I, I actually use like... Um, what, is, what is it called? I think it's, uh, it's the, the wind, but it's the metallic and they're very shiny uh, watercolors. Uh, I'm using this Tombow um, it's 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 a mechanical pencil and also an eraser, a very small eraser, not as small as the Mono Point Ho or whatever it's called. I have that one too, but it's a very cool. Um, I'm using a Derwent uh, sketchbook, a watercolor sketchbook, and I was I was lightly erasing the um, my sketch. That I, I leave the the link of the photo. The photo is from Pinterest. It's amazing, and I'll leave the link in the description as as with all the the materials and all that. So I'm using like a um, fine liner. Just it's I I, I I didn't know if I wanted to make this like uh, a line and wash kind of thing. Uh, I just do my thing. I don't know. I just started like with. Um, with the line art this time and trying to make like all these lines it, 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 they're, they're cool you, you don't have to like to draw all the fur and all the the details but uh, just a few lines can give you the the notion of uh, the wolf structure and the snow and that's cool I like that some line work but not every single strand of hair <laughs> okay so that's what I'm doing here and now uh, I'm applying it it's uh, it's supposed to go outside <laughs> I didn't I didn't mess it up I just I wanted to make it a fluffier thing so what I'm what I'm doing um, a fluffier tail and what I'm doing I'm looking at the reference photo and I'm I'm trying to see where the darkest values are and I'm applying that uh, that gray that's uh, let me just get my thing so I just got the, the box and it's like uh, an overcast gray it's called the neutral tint uh, they name it casket overcast gray but it's a neutral tint so it's like it's like a black but diluted I don't know it's cool it's very cool for this wolf because this wolf is really dark uh, and he has like this uh, I was just like going through my Pinterest photos and it's like I mean only the purple doesn't appear in this wolf and you can also uh, use the purple to make shadows you know and in the snow and all that i think i used the blue but 
uh, what I'm using is like I am looking at my reference photo and I'm trying to see where is light and where is darker and just applying it like um, the colors are very rich like a little bit of color goes a long way they are very beautiful creamy but they're, they're beautiful watercolor I am of course with watercolors you should like if you want to have a more solid color you should do more layers and I was also trying to figure out how to make the fur without like doing every single strand uh, oh and then this became a <laughs> mixed media uh, project because then I, I used my pencils to this is are the Prism Prismacolor pencils uh, just to add a little bit of yellow and color um, so the darks get darker and the yellow pops a little bit more I also made a little a little texture I texturized the wolf <laughs> and yeah I just tried to make him a little darker in some spots because I maybe I could do that with watercolor just using like a uh, almost straight from the tube but uh, I like to go with pencils and water after watercolor I like that a lot I like the effect and I could do like I was going for like the texture I can do that with watercolor uh, with pencils better than with watercolor I could use like a very small brush and a very concentrated watercolor like almost from the tube and just do that but uh, with pencils it's kind of quicker <laughs> and you know you get to go with white and um, bring back some lights you might have uh, lost and yeah then I, I figured the, the belly was very very um, light and it wasn't in the photo so that's why I'm darkening it up with uh, the pencils and you can yeah change that um, I change I keep looking at the reference photo not that I want to do it exactly like the reference photo but uh, this is not quite realistic it's just <laughs> a sketchbook and now I'm using the Posca pen to bring out some whites that I didn't preserve I like to go with a Posca pen or anything that makes it really pop out a gel pen or whatever um, and then I remembered that yellow there it just felt like easier I even signed it and then because I was afraid I would ruin like make a shiny golden wolf but then I mean air, air shines and fur shines you know and then I just oh I'm gonna use them I don't use them often and I have them and they're so pretty so I just started using it it's not very noticeable here but uh, in, in person and mainly that yellow part of his fur it's very noticeable and I like the effect of having like this the shiny wolf and so uh, again the materials will be in the description below um, if you have any questions or doubts about this this uh, materials or the procedure just uh, leave me a comment in the in the comment section <laughs> so if you if you like this video give me the thumbs up and i hope to see you in the next one till then bye bye create heart and stay safe bye bye